So you've opened up Serato DJ Pro, you've seen this screen and you don't know what to do next, I'm gonna show you how to get started. So when you open up Serato DJ Pro, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a crate. A crate is pretty much just a folder where you can store all your music. So in order to do that, you come over to this icon on the left hand side here and click it. It will create you a crate, defaulted as crate one, and you can rename this. I'm gonna name this as music. There's no limit on how many crates you can create, so I'm gonna create two more. So I'm gonna rename this one R&B, and I'm gonna rename this one hip hop. Now that you've created crates, it's time to add music into Serato DJ Pro. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it through the Serato interface or you can drag the files from your computer itself into the program. So the first way is coming over to files on the screen here, clicking it, going to where your music is stored. So mine's stored on the desktop in my music folder. So you can see here that I've got a hip hop folder, old school R&B folder and an R&B folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the hip hop tracks and then drag them over to music. Now, if I close this and then open up my music folder, you can see all my music has been pulled into Serato. The other way is going to the actual folder on your computer itself and then dragging the track over. So if I pick up this folder here and drag it over to Serato onto my R&B crate and drop it here, you can see now when I open up my R&B folder, you can see all the R&B tracks. Now that you've added your music into Serato DJ Pro, the next thing you need to do is analyze your music. Analyzing your music in Serato will get all the information that you need to DJ. The two most important things you're gonna get from analyzing your music is the key of the track and the BPM speed of the track. So in order to analyze your music, all you need to do is go to where all your music is stored, highlight all the tracks, drag them over to this analyze files button. If you let go, it brings up a new window and you can see that all the tracks are being analyzed now. And if you look at the bottom down here, you can see that all the values for the BPM and the key are starting to appear. Now that you've analyzed your music, you're ready to start loading tracks onto each deck. So to load a track, all you need to do is just pick up the track that you want and then drag it over to here. We're gonna start with the first deck first. When I let go of it, you can see that the track is now loaded. You can see the name of the track, the R artist, the BPM speed, the key, and how long the track is. You can also do this on the right deck as well. So if I pick this up and drag it over, you can see that the track is now loaded onto deck two. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is start and stop the track. So to start a track on the left deck, all you need to do is come up to here and press the play button. To stop it, you just click the button again. If you wanna use the keyboard to trigger off the first deck, it's just pressing the space bar. And to stop it, you just press it again. On the right hand side, if you wanna play the track, it's the same as pressing the button on this side here. And to stop it, it's the same thing. But on the right deck, if you wanna use your keyboard, you need to press the enter button. Now, like on your traditional mixes, you're gonna have a crossfader. If you move it to the left hand side, it's only gonna play channel one. If you move it to the right hand side, it's only gonna play channel two. We have this exact same thing, but in a digital version in Serato DJ Pro. So if you see here, you can see the crossfader and it's right in the middle. If you keep it into the middle, you're gonna hear both tracks play at the same time. It sounds a little bit messy because the tracks are not the same BPM. So if you wanna hear just the track on the left hand side, all you need to do is move the crossfader to the left. Now, if I play both tracks, you're only gonna hear deck one. The same if I move it over to the right hand side and then play both tracks again, you're only gonna hear deck two. So underneath the crossfader, you're gonna see this button here. If you click it, it gets rid of this window. If you click it again, it shows the window. So basically this just shows you your cue points and your loop controls. So just to touch on cue points for a little bit, a cue point is just a marker that you can set in a track. Now you might wanna set a cue point at the start of the track, the middle of the track, the hook, the verse, anywhere you want. So in order to set a cue point, all you need to do is go to a point in the track that you wanna set a cue point at. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag this over here and we're we're gonna to come to the start of the track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a cue point here. Now, if I click this cue point, it will start to trigger the track. You can also do this when the track is playing. So if I press play on the track and then click the cue point, it goes to that part of the track. You can set up to eight cue points in the track. So I can move the track here and set a cue point. I can move the track here set the cue point and I can move the track here and set the cue point. You don't have to worry, even if you change track and come back to this one, the cue points are gonna be saved. So if I eject this track and then place it back, you can see that the cue points are still there. At the same time, you can also delete cue points. So if I click this cross on the cue point, it gets rid of it. And the same with this one and this one. So as a DJ, you're gonna be playing different types of genres of music and you're also gonna be playing different speeds of music. So in Serato DJ Pro, you can change the speed of a track by using the tempo slider here. So if you have a look at here, you can see the track is at 97 BPM. If I press on this, it brings up this window. So if I keep holding it and then pull it up, 
you can see that the track speeds up. The same way I can go up, I can also go down. You can also see in the list of tracks here that two of the tracks are highlighted blue. This just means that both of the tracks have already been played. As a DJ, if you're DJing in a club, you don't really want to play tracks twice. So if you've played a track, it's going to highlight blue to tell you not to play it again. To clear the blue and put it back to normal, all you need to do is go to the top right hand corner here, click this settings cog, go to library and display, and then press reset tracks. If you go back to the window now, you can see that both the tracks are no longer blue. So that was your first look into Serato DJ Pro. Now you know your whereabouts, have a look at this video here where I go through all my settings in Serato DJ Pro. I'll catch you in the next video.